Our first inside images at the riots at Holman Prison came from smartphones owned by the inmates themselves. Well, now we're learning where the prisoners are getting those phones, and the answer might shock you. News 5's J.B. Buno broke the story. He joins us live in the Web Center with more. Good morning, J.B. Yeah, well, good morning, Devin. These prison inmates, they're using smartphones just like you and I use with a cell signal. They're watching YouTube, they're posting to their own Facebook pages, and they're video chatting with their family from inside the prison. And as we found out, in there, there's a black market for cell phones, and the inmates tell us the guards themselves are the biggest sellers. On Friday, this YouTube video was our first look inside the riots at Holman Prison. I need a little about this beer, man. Posted online by an inmate with a smartphone. Here, man, the then Monday, we video called an inmate during the second round of riots. We have barricaded the front door. Giving you an inside look behind the barricade. It's no secret, there are a lot of smartphones inside this maximum security prison. They don't, they don't search for them as hard as they used to. But the real secret is this. Is that what's happening? Are the guards selling you guys um, smartphones? I mean, you know, it goes, you know, yeah. Corrections officers are selling smartphones to inmates. News 5 learning one prisoner paid $500 for a phone and $150 for the charger on prepaid gift cards snuck into the building. You know, just like anything, there's a way. This anonymous inmate telling us the guards think of smartphones as a way to keep the prison population busy, plus as a way to make some cash on the side. Is that what's going on there? It's kind of like, yeah, this guy, he, you know, they empathize. You know, they empathize. They say, well, you know, okay, you, I got a family at home. And, you know, you've got a family that you want to talk to or whatever. For what it's worth, this inmate says they've mastered the art of hiding the phones, despite what the Department of Corrections has to say. We're constantly looking uh, for uh, any type of contraband, not just the cell phones. It's going down in these. In a prison that's seen two violent riots in three days, the inmates say smartphones can help deter future uprisings if allowed, or if the corrections officers continue to turn the other cheek. Now, we did our homework for this story, speaking to about half a dozen inmates who admitted to getting their smartphones from corrections officers, saying that in there, it's actually pretty normal. But the question, as we asked, should the inmates have smartphones if it'll help prevent future riots? That's the question that we asked on WKRG.com yesterday. Should prison inmates be allowed to have smartphones? And if we take a live look here at the results from the Web Center, 74% of you say no, absolutely not. The state actually needs to step up enforcement against prohibited smartphone use. So this is something that was shared a lot on Facebook. Hundreds of comments. A lot of our WKRG Facebook fans, Devin, they were talking about this story. And uh, it's obviously very intriguing to, to think that the guards themselves are the ones selling smartphones to the inmates. I was very surprised by that, JB. And I had a question for you. You mentioned in your story that the inmates have gotten really good at hiding these cell phones. So you look at that dorm room. There are a hundred beds in one room, and they don't have any privacy. Where are they hiding these phones? We asked them that question, Devin, and they kind of chuckled on the phone. They said, "Hey, listen, we're not going to tell the news reporter where we're hiding and stashing <laughs> our smartphones." But they did say they know the prison better than the guards do. They know all the nooks and crannies, and they have, like I said, mastered the art of hiding their phones. And they are very confident confident that the phones that they have now, they're going to be able to hold on to them and have them for a long time. All right, J.B. Buno, thanks so much.